If you're just starting the online program, you want to be persistent. Make sure that you communicate clearly with your professors and your advisor. I always tell my advisees, take advantage of whatever opportunities your professors provide you for communication. Some advice that I would give to students who are just starting the program or thinking about joining the program would be to um, contact somebody here. Um, we're, we're happy to, to help you, to answer your questions, to work you through some things. Uh, if you're starting out in the program, my advice would be to not procrastinate. The advice I would give to the online student is, you can bring your expectations to the table, that's great. But always know that um, some things are gonna be, have to be tweaked just a little bit to make it all work. I mean, online is flexible. I mean, that, that's what it's there for. But it is, uh, but it can be even more difficult because of the fact that you aren't meeting in a classroom at a specified time. Online students, have a different quality about them. It takes a really special student to decide that they're going to have the motivation, the discipline to really dig into an online course and contribute to the level that we expect them to and to get as much out of the courses as they might were they sitting in a traditional classroom setting. My experiences with the online student body as a whole is that they are very dedicated, uh, they, they are very motivated, they're self-disciplined, um, and they're also very appreciative of feedback that they get from the instructors. I guess I would say that our online students are both driven and also busy people who either are very organized or quickly learn to be organized. Our students uh, primarily in our online programs as of today are from the ages of uh, 25 to 35. That's the greatest population and we've even had a real big uptick in the 17 to 20 population. So even the younger learners are, are going online, obviously. Uh, but again, we have online learners up to the age of 65. I mean, th there's no boundaries. Our online students get the same level of service and attention. We try to communicate with them clearly and in a way that they feel that they're a part of our community. We maintain a, a solid line of communication with our students. Uh, excellent advising. I mean, I think that's the number one uh, strength we here, have here at Clarion is excellent advising. I feel that one of the ways that I'm able to create a more physical reality for my online students when they attend the online courses at Clarion is to create some method of communication that's more personal. What is nice about Clarion is all of our instructors have to go through a process of learning how to teach in the online environment. And I'll talk to my colleagues at a number of other places and, you know, so, some places allow their faculty to kind of learn by trial and error. But we've got a real structured format for getting teachers ready to teach online and once the faculty pass through that and they start developing their courses, they realize what it takes to create that course and, and I've spoken with many of them they say that helps them actually prepare their face-to-face -face courses. We have a uh, brand new DNP, Doctor of Nurse Practitioner program that will uh, roll out in summer of 2015 and so that gives Clarion the most comprehensive ladder from the ASN program uh, up to the DNP program. Uh, anyone can come in literally and start with their ASN and go right to the doctor if they wanted to. So it, it's fantastic and we're really excited about the program. We're accepting applications now. So again, it's really exciting, uh, completely online. In our master's program, we have a lot of new initiatives underway. In particular, many of the professors try to incorporate real life experiences into the online classroom. Another online program that we are developing, it's in development, is a BA in English online. And that's something that we, we, we have been asked for for a long time. And I'm, I'm hoping that that becomes a reality very soon.